Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So I just went from 90 degrees and almost 100% humidity in the rainforest of Ecuador to here at Tinley Park where it's like 30 degrees and snowing. But it's all worth it because this weekend is one of my favorite weekends of the year. This is the Tinley Park NARBC Reptile Expo. It is one of the greatest expos in the world. There are so many people that come here from all over the world to check this expo out. There are so many reptiles and amphibians that you can only see here. So let's get in there and check this out and also see who's gonna win the March 2019 NARBC Tinley Park Rattle On Awards. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles and I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. So Garrett from Reach Out Reptiles just came up to Kat and I when we were doing Kat's intro for her video and found this beautiful male pied that was loose in his booth. So we're gonna go find the rightful owner of this beautiful pied and uh, see if we can get him home. All right, so we gave the pieds to Mr. Brian here. He's gonna find the rightful owners. Cash, anybody got cash? Kat and I are going back in and we are gonna check this place out. So Catalia here is going to be the guest judge and she's going to pick out the Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here. So which one did you select? So I really love the Bill's Phase Lace Monitor and I think it's probably the most interesting, like the most interesting lizard that I've seen at this show and you've worked with these in the wild. So I have. Right? As a matter of fact, lace monitors are one of my favorite monitors to find in the wild. So the Bell's Phase is a naturally occurring phase of the lace monitor. There's two phases, the Bell's Phase and the Phase. This guy is literally like the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'm so glad that you picked the Bell's Phase Lace Monitor because this truly is one of my favorite monitors, if not my favorite monitor. That is just an awesomely beautiful monitor. So fantastic choice for the NIRBC March 2019 Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here. So for the best snake here, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to let you guys decide who's going to win the March 2019 best snake here. And I'm going to pick out three nominations. So guys, go to my Instagram. The photos of all three snakes are going to be there. The one with the most likes wins the March 2019 Rattle On Awards for the best snake here. So again, go to my Instagram to vote. All right, Rattlers. So here is contestant number one for the 2019 March Tinley Park Rattle On Awards best snake here. This is a monster cow. Retic owned by JK Reptiles. I love huge snakes and I love big retics. And out of all the retic morphs out there, I love cows the best. And you can see why. Look at this big, beautiful spotted cow. This is awful. So, again, go to my Instagram, 
Check out this cow retic owned by, again by JK Reptiles. And if this is your pick, this is gonna win the 2019 March Tinley Park Rattle On Awards for the best snake here. So contestant number two for the Rattle On Awards for the best snake here is found at Tim Bailey's booth. Tim Bailey is one of the most talented ball python breeders I've ever met. And this is why. Look at this. You guys know what this is? This is a scaleless pie. And a lot of you guys know that pies are my thing. I love pies. So I gotta say, one of the reasons why this is my nomination for the March 2019 Rattle On Awards for the best snake here at Tinley is this is the world's first scaleless pied ball python. And right now, this is the only one known in the world. And he is just an amazing ball python morph. But again, this scaleless pied is one of the coolest snakes that I've seen here, and it's contestant number two for the best snake here. So, so again, go to my Instagram and like the photo of this scaleless pied if this is your pick to win the Rattle On Awards for the best snake here. All right, so here at Gateway City Reptiles, and I'll tell you, Jeff is one of the most talented breeders. I know I say that about a lot of breeders, but there's so many talented breeders here, but Jeff, Listen, a lot of my collection actually comes from him, but take a look at this lavender toffee hognose snake. So Jeff works with a ton of hognose morphs. <laughs> so Jeff works with a ton of hognose morphs, and he has some of the best ones out there. And this lavender toffee is one of the most awesome little hognoses out there. And this is why this guy is number three on my pick of nominations for the best snake here for the 2019 March Tinley Park Rattle On Awards. So again. Go to my Instagram, check out this really awesome lavender toffee hognose snake, and the one who gets the most likes wins the 2019 March Tinley Park Rattle On Awards for the best snake here. So every year, there's really a lot of awesome and innovative products that enter into the market. So I'm gonna do a new category for the Rattle On Awards, the best new herp product. And I think I found it at Terra Orb. All right, Mike, so your booth caught my eye. These are some, like really, some of the most incredible enclosures I've ever seen. These, this design is so unique. Tell us all about it. So, <laughs> my concept was that I was sitting in my room looking at my green tree python. I've had it for 20 sure. years now and everybody takes and takes a box and tries to put a tree in it and i said i want to build a tree that holds the stuff that the snake lives on and then try to wrap it so it can't get out so the original concept came up which is more like these center ones or the side ones where there's a tree and everything wraps around it <laughs> so i built that one and it turned out so good that I said I'm going to build one like it without a tree, move the tree to the side and put my boas and stuff in those, which came with the oval. Look at that. So those just slide right across like that. Yes. And after I built the first couple by hand with a hand router, I just kind of became obsessed with it. Yeah drove my family crazy doing it. I've had to buy a CNC machine to make the pieces I needed, and I, I've just kind of kept building on it and sure. perfecting it. And so that comes, so the whole sliding thing comes out. Yes. So, so you can remove. This is like just plastic. It's uh, polycarbonate. The polycarbonate. Same thing that like dirt bike lenses, ski goggles. Ah, are made sure, out of. sure, sure. So it's super strong. So it goes on a track there and comes all the way over here. Comes all the way around. And then there's a little locking piece that keeps it from coming out. And then it's locked with a house key. Yep. Which just basically stops the train track. Look at that. And then you've got vents on top. Yep. That you can block out so you yep, keep that you humidity to, in. If you wanted to. And Works. they completely collapse. Four bolts holds the whole thing together. Is that right? The old, the other thing that I just despised when I kept chameleons or pythons yeah. or something was cords. I hated looking at them. You're putting like this beautiful sure. animal Absolutely. In, and then you got a cord in the way. So I devised a little system to introduce, you know, water or power in and out 
Look of, at the, that. of the system throughout the center tree. That is incredible. So you can put like uh, water systems, uh, you know, anything you want. Just yeah, yeah. Through the hole, and then there's a special coupling I made that goes over it and locks it into place. And then you put all your plants and everything in here. Right. Water dishes, if you right. want. Right. Right. That is incredibly innovative. Yeah. These are amazing oh, I cages. It. Thanks, especially yeah. coming from you. So. Hey, <laughs> right on. <laughs> awesome. So this, uh, so this enclosure like this is only 225. So they're really affordable. This is the first time anybody's ever seen them. Yeah. So, so this is the rollout. Anybody. This is the first time the this public the has ever seen these cages. I, I like this show. I come to it every time, and I said if I'm going to introduce something. I want everyone to know that I made it and here it awesome. is. Awesome. So Rattlers, you can see why Terra Orb's really innovative cages wins the 2019 March NARBC Rattle On Awards for the best new product. So I've been walking around trying to find the best Trelawney in here and I found it here at Squamata Concepts. Check this little guy out. So this is a Vietnamese leaf turtle and these little turtles are so awesome. Like most turtles in Southeast Asia, these guys are in danger. Look at the scoots on the back of the carapace here. They have these little ridges that mimic a dead leaf and these guys will sit in very shallow ponds with a lot of leaf litter in it and they will blend right into that leaf litter. And they will sit and eat you know, little minnows and little worms that are found in these shallow ponds. These are just amazing little guys. Look at that plastron. That is just a gorgeous plastron. And this guy is yours for only $1,000 here at Squamata Concept table. All right, so this is John, but look at the display that he has them in. Why, why did you design this display like this? I designed it so you can get your head into the cage like this. Oh, wow! Instead of banging your head on the glass. That rules, because tall guys like me bang their head on anything, so... <laughs> what an innovative concept here. That is really cool. So one of these days, I'm gonna get over to Vietnam, and I'm gonna go on an expedition to try to find these amazing turtles in the wild. These are just amazing turtles, and one of my favorite turtles from Southeast Asia. And when I saw this guy, I knew that this was gonna be my pick for the March 2019 Tinley Park Rattle On Awards for the best Trelawney in here. So one of the things I love about coming to this show is meeting all of the Rattlers. You guys are awesome, and I love meeting every one of you. All right, so I met this guy last, what what, what shirt last am I wearing there? That's October. So that's October, and he actually printed a photo of us, and I'm gonna sign this thing. That is incredible. Miguel! How are you? Hey, you still need to get me a t-shirt there, buddy. Oh gosh, seriously. Seriously, seriously. So, Miguel, what? Uh, first of all, did you buy anything at the show? No. 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 Wow, that's some that's some that's some pretty good restraint. So proud of you. The yeah. auction was pretty uh, brutal. Oh, was it? What did you do? Twenty thousand? Twenty-five thousand? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I would have got divorced for sure. I was gonna say. No, yeah. but, uh, actually, Tur wait. Turtle would be like, "Don't come home." I did. I, I actually, I did. I did buy something. But I, I don't have it with me. I'm going to get it shut down in a couple of weeks. Ah. Uh, Gary Harder, I bought some uh, Super Dwarf. Free tickets. Ah, yes. good like, choice. Very, Very good that. choice. All right, look at this. Here's my favorite little rock stars here at Tinley. So what's the coolest thing you've seen here? I think a sand boa. A sand boa. Awesome. And look at your Mr. Lucky t-shirt. Awesome. Where's the Slayer gear? <laughs> Did you forget it? Awesome. All right, buddy, bump that fist. Have a good time. All right, so KP Reptiles is here. So, hey, everybody. Th you've been to this expo, what, like, this is your second one? Uh, 
Third. Second October or two October. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And you're filming for your channel? Yes, we are. Awesome. I will put your link in the description below for everybody to see it. What is the best thing that you've seen here so far? Besides Dave Kaufman. Uh, Good answer. There are, are, <laughs> there are a ton of great animals, vendors, carries a rhino iguana. Ah, I love the rhino iguanas. Yes. Line them up. I want one so bad. Awesome. Yeah, so we're gonna have to figure out how to make that happen, but really just seeing everybody's been fantastic. Fantastic. Great time. Awesome. Well, I, I just love hanging with you guys. You guys are Thank you awesome. So much. I appreciate it. All right, have fun, guys. Thanks, Dave. What's your name? Gianna. Gianna, and what did you buy here today? Did um, you buy anything? Um, no, I didn't buy any animals. But um, I did um, buy the snake bit, um, slap bed thing. Oh, that's awesome. Are you having a good time? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, very good to meet you. All right, here's life at the Freedom Breeder booth. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Brian Cusco doing his thing here. You're not, what? what? Then what's this? Huh? What? Huh? All right, so John and Tiffany here won last year's and the very first ever Rattle On Awards for the best snake here. And that snake is right where? In the middle. Right in the middle, there he is. Well, congratulations, guys. So did I tell you that you guys won? I, I did tell you that you won the first ever Rattle On Awards for the best snake here at Tinley Park in October. That's awesome. Does that make you feel like? Award winning. Award winning. I've always felt we've been award winning. I, I would agree. Actually there you go, perfect, perfect. Love it, love it. All right, so Brock Wagner is here with Coolio. Coolio, one of the coolest scaleless ball pythons. So we were just talking here and you were talking about the substrate that scaleless ball pythons need to be kept on. Yeah, so the Coolio here is a year and a half old and anyway, I keep him on newspaper. I do not recommend keeping him on aspen bedding, no type of bedding like that because as you can see, their, their bellies are their skin. And so when I do actually put Coolio on aspen bedding, he doesn't like it. And yeah, I think it's. I think it's actually, Dave. I think it's actually hard on him. And right, it, I it, bet it's an irritant. It's right. an irritant. Yeah, and so I keep him on newspaper. And another thing, when you have a scaleless uh, animal, you should keep a, a tub of water in with the animal at all times, so that way he can go in and soak. And I've had no shedding problems, no nothing like that. But I always keep a tub of water in his cage, and it seems to really help with the health of the animal. Fantastic. So. Snake this size, but I bet he's getting sperm plugs pretty soon, or does yeah, he already have yeah, them? Yeah, he has sperm plugs now, and uh, I'm actually trying to breed Coolio uh, right now. So I just brought him up this, sh this show to show him off. I've never brought a scaleless, especially one that's a year and a half old. That is off. awesome. So one of the awesome things about Tinley is that there are so many amazing vendors and so many amazing booths here, and it's really difficult to pick out who's going to win the best booth here. But I think I found it at Royal Authority. All right, Matt. So you designed this booth. Tell us how you did it. Tell us how you created all of this. Yeah, I just I wanted something different than everybody else had, you know, just plain table. You know, did, tossed around some ideas and uh, pretty much wanted to do a tiered thing. And this is what we came up with. Something on wheels we can easily move around. Nice. So it's functional it's and functional. it's movable. That's it. And all the displays fit underneath so we can put load it up and just take off. That's fantastic. How long did it take you to make all this? It took a while. Yeah? <laughs> uh, did it on the side, you know, nothing. It wasn't full time doing it, so several months. Just well, a little it's, bit here and there. it is different, and that's why it attracted me. So the doors open up on this, yeah. and then all of the racks and everything fit in the storage in there for easy transport. The lamps are actually from Lowe's, I guess. Oh, so you just bought the lamps bought the from lamps, Lowe's, yeah. okay. And so you built all the framework for it. So this is actually aluminum. Aluminum, it's lightweight. I mean, easy to easy to pick up and load up into a truck. So. Fantastic. Is this your first Tinley? Yes, first Tinley. Nice. How, how's it how's it going it's for been you? Great. It's been great. Nice. Big crowd. Really enjoy it. Fantastic. And this is Kayla. Hi. And now, did you have a hand in making all this or? No. <laughs> I'm the face of it all. You're the face of it all. All right. So again, Rattlers, it's really kind of hard to look at all these really awesome displays and all these really awesome booths that are here at Tinley. And it's really hard for me to pick out who wins the best booth. But when I see something innovative like this one from Royal Authority out of Austin, Texas, how aesthetic and functional these displays are, it was a total no-brainer why the Royal Authority booth here at Tinley wins the March 2019 Rattle On Awards for the best booth here.
blast walking around Tinley Park with Kat Alea. She is just awesome to go to these expos with and I hope that I'm going to go to like a ton more expos all over the place with you because this is so much fun. So what was the greatest thing that you saw here? Carl has the most amazing gargoyles I've ever seen in my entire life and he has, uh, he was the one that had the gecko called Bacon which was, it was Oh uh, yeah. Right. And so he has a lot of offspring or you know, uh, down the line. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, 1200 for that one, 1500 for that one. Man, I should really be looking into getting into gargoyle geckos. And thank you for helping with the Rattle On Awards and picking out the best lizard deer. That was awesome. That thing was beautiful. That thing was awesome. Obviously, it's a really good idea. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so, you travel so much. You might as well take it internationally. Funny you should mention that. Rattlers, come with me. All right, Rattlers, let's get this trip started. This is gonna ruin it. I just have to make a real quick pit stop back at the hotel real quick and jump in the shower and change my clothes and then it's off to the airport. We are almost there, just a little further. <laughs> Hi there. Good. All right, thank you. All right, I'm almost there. Just a 15 hour flight, no big deal. After a three hour flight to LA and a 15 hour flight here, I finally arrived in one of my favorite places. This is Sydney, Australia. It is so great to be back. So I'm here just in time for the Penrith Reptile Expo. I was flown down by the Hawkesbury Herb Society to be a guest at the Penrith Reptile Expo. And yes, I'm gonna bring the Rattle On Awards to them. So until the Penrith Reptile Expo, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on. <laughs>